you've probably seen the term weighted fiber in dye recipes. It often goes by its acronym WOF. Weighted fiber is a way to figure out how much dye is needed to achieve a certain depth of color. It is an essential concept for a dyer to learn, and it is really quite simple. So let's say that I have dyed a skein of yarn a rich purple red using cochineal. It makes sense that if I want to dye 10 times as much yarn, I'm going to need 10 times as much dye. And that turns out to be true. In fact, the amount of dye I need is directly proportional to the amount of fiber I want to dye. Directly proportional means that if I want to dye twice as much yarn, I need twice as much dye. Half as much yarn? I need half as much dye, and so on. It makes the calculation easy. How much dye did I use to get my favorite color? I check my notebook and see that I used 6 grams of cochineal to dye 100 grams of yarn. I always weigh my items dry, not wet. So weight of dye stuff divided by weight of fiber gives me a percentage. 6 divided by 100 equals 0 0.06, or 6%. A dyer would say, to get my favorite color, I used cochineal at 6% weight of fiber. And that 6% tells me not only what I did, but what I need to do to get the same color on any amount of the same fiber. Let's say I want to dye 500 grams of yarn at 6% weight of fiber. I just take 6% of 500 grams, so that's 500 grams times 0 0.06, and that equals 30 grams. So I need 30 grams of cochineal to achieve the same color on five skeins instead of just one. The 6% figure is sometimes also called depth of shade or DOS. Again, it makes sense that if that percentage goes up, my color gets darker. If I dyed at 12%, that means I used twice as much dye as when I dyed at 6%, so I would expect a more saturated color. It is incredibly useful to get comfortable with weight of fiber. Trust your intuition and don't overthink the math. Here are some recipes from naturaldyes.ca. Here are some sample calculations. Let's say we want to dye a cotton bandana with lac at 12% weight of fiber. The cotton bandana weighs 25 grams. 25 grams times 0.12 equals 3 grams of lac. So, I need 3 grams of lac to dye a single bandana. If I want to dye 15 bandanas, I weigh them and find they weigh 375 grams. 375 grams times 0.12 equals 45 grams of lac. I need 45 grams of lac to dye 15 bandanas. And if I want to dye 40, the weight of 40 cotton bandanas is a kilo. 1,000 grams times 0.12 equals 120 grams of lac. Tip. Weight of fiber is always the item weighed dry, not wet. Weight of fiber can be used for mordants and tannins also. Tip. To calculate weight of fiber, the units of measure for fiber and dye must be the same. For example, we cannot weigh the fiber in pounds and the dye in ounces. Remember that volume measurements like cups, tablespoons, and teaspoons are not weights and cannot be used to calculate weight of fiber. Moreover, as dyers, we should know that powders have different densities. So, for example, a tablespoon of calcium carbonate will weigh less than a tablespoon of soda ash. When don't we use weight of fiber? For indigo. For indigo, we control the depth of shade by balancing three factors, the strength of the vat, the length of the dip, and the number of dips. If you want to achieve reliable, reproducible natural dye colors and recipes, you will use weight of fiber as a way to create precision in your dye recipes. If you want a way to match colors, weight of fibers allows you to test a dye recipe and then scale up for any size project you want. 
If you want to work out a series of colors for a colorway or a color palette, you can use weighted fiber to measure dyes and dye combinations with accuracy. Weighted fiber is a simple way to gain control over your relationship with color.